video is how I got my Dubai tourist visa, my immigration experience to Dubai and stay tuned. So how much will it cost you for the 30 days single entry visit visa? So I took the 30 days single entry and in total inclusive of the service charge of VFS because Emirates used the services of VFS and I paid in total I think $90 in USD. I'm gonna write here also like uh, equivalent it to Kenyan shillings here on the screen. Yeah. When I say 30 days multi entry, 90 days single entry, you'll see the prices pop up. I applied through Emirates and I can talk about Emirates because that's my experience. Like maybe direct click on how to apply uh, below. Please guys, I do not, the reason why this, I do not do this kind of videos, but I do not, you, I do not want you guys to get scammed because there are so many scamming people out there and then you feel, it makes you feel so low. Just follow this video guys, it has all the information. I know you thought it's Dubai, right? I'm alright. That's why you need to subscribe, watch this video till the end because I always share informational videos. Need a UAE visa? Apply through the Emirates.com. That's how I applied it. The online UAE visa application. Please carefully read the information below and continue to visa application to continue. So VS, uh, the, you can apply through VF as global services a leading provider for visa services around the world Emirates has entered into a commercial agreement with vfs global service to provide online visa services vfs global services will be a solely responsible to providing any visa services applied for through its website and it will also collect payment for these services so it will take if you click it it will take you to the uae visas apply and pay for your uae visa online uh, this provide, pro service is provided by VFS. This service is provided by VSS Global on behalf of Emirates Airlines. Hi guys. So, before we pack our bags, uh huh. Before we pack our bags, I'm gonna show you how to apply a Dubai visa, UAE visa. Because we're actually going to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi is the capital city. Abu Dhabi is the capital. How do you say it? Abu Dhabi? Abu Dhabi is the capital city of UAE, United Arab Emirates. Please. F yeah. So, visa eligibility. Rest, so, you, you click on that to see if you your country is required to apply for a visa. I'm from Kenya, so this video is basically geared towards Kenyans who want to apply a visa for UAE. And, uh, yeah, just check it check it on the... I'll leave the links to this uh, website on the description down below. So, always open my description box below this video. You can use the visa services to apply for UAE when visiting Dubai with Emirates. The services offers... 96 hours, 14 day. There's no 14 day. 14 day was cancelled. So 30 day and 60 day visa. Your visa type will be based on your origin of, on your length of stay in Dubai, uh, on stated in your arrest itinerary. So guys, this is how I applied. I, there's visa categories. There's tourist 30 days. I applied for the tourist 30 days which was like 90 yeah i paid 94 dollars because it was 70 usd visa fee and then 23 dollar for the service fee so in total is the uh, approximately 94 dollars that i paid for so i paid for the tourist 30 days 70 dollars visa fee and uh, 23.38 service fee for the transit for 96 hours you can pay 33 i think the this one is the most popular one you can pay visa fee for 33 usd dollar and then service fee 22.52 dollars so 33 plus 22 that's like 55 55 usd in total so if you 
translated to Kenyan shillings 55 times 140, I guess, you get, get roughly 7,200 Kenyan shillings if you're going to pay like that. And uh, yeah, 48 hours visa is like they charge you. It's nothing. I don't know. Yeah, just keep on looking at the website because they always change things every day. So not for 14 days visas are temporarily suspended by UAE migration. You'll be default be able to pay for 30 days visa. I only wanted to pay for 14 days but ended up paying for 30 days. At the time of entry, the passenger must prove that they have enough financial resources to cover their expenses during the trip. Personally, they did not... Uh, my immigration experience when I was like in Dubai, they did not ask me to check my credit card or how much money I have for the trip. I feel honestly it's because I booked through Emirates and when I was offered my visa and my visa, e visa came for the UAE, my sponsor was Emirates Intranet or something. Yeah, that's what they said like in the visa paper. So I feel like that also played a role. Yeah. So this is how you apply to pay. This is how this is the process I went through, guys. So this is how I applied to how to apply and pay. I paid her uh, application can be made a minimum a maximum of fifty eight days or a minimum of four four internal four working days before you arrive in the UAE. Emirates and VFs recommend that you apply as early as possible i applied as like three months this trip has been like well planned three months like august i was already booking the flight applying for the visa because i just like to plan my 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 life that's how i am so payment can only be made with visa mastercard credit or debit card only so you can pay uh, through visa card i paid through visa card like yeah visa my visa usd card the requirements for application So you rec they recommend this uh, visa application query. They recommend you check. Uh, so these are the things you need, require, actually. Before you start filling in the form, these are the required applicant documents. You have, need to have a color photograph of, uh, of yourself, your color copy of your passport, applicant's passport. The passport must be valid for at least six months. You can also download the application form. Uh, through available at Emirates ticketing office or yeah, depending on the applicant's nationality, you need a copy of your Emirates airline ticket or code share. This all all these things are online. If you go through, if you me personally, I just booked my flight first and then I'm talking about my so I booked my fi flight first and then used uh, my managed booking because that way it's so easy. It takes you straight to the point. And then from managed booking, that's how I started applying my, my visa. And it all it had my ticket number, my itinerary. So it was really easy to pre, like, fill. It was like filling every, my, my itinerary. And then after that, you submit your documents. And within four or five days, you get your, your visa. Please watch this video till the end. And uh, yeah... Before that, yeah, please watch it to the end and please support me by watching my video. My guys, I'm so excited. I'm booking for Abu Dhabi and I'm so excited because I've saved fare. I'm saving I've used K like visa. I'm using my visa card and it has saved me some money because initially the flight was I think six sixteen six twenty one dollars. Now I've saved now it's five seventy nine dollars I'm paying when I use my visa card to pay. Wait how much I'm saving. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm, so, I'm, I'm booking. See what, what date is it? August 15th.
that I'm booking this flight, I'm booking it right now, I'm booking it right now because people say you should book your, your flights three months in advance or six months in advance. So, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, I'm using my visa code. See? With my visa. So, see. It's a USD. <gasps> USD card, baby. Abibi! Abibi, welcome to Dubai! Oh, Habibi! Come to Dubai. I had alcohol there. It's so expensive. Like a glass of wine is $45. Is it true? We'll know. Sparkling wine. Okay. Now start again. Habibi. Come to Dubai. Finally going to Dubai, UAE. Yeah, cheers. Let me sip the last drips because I am buying wine, alcoholic drinks in Abu Dhabi. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So before we pack our vehicle our bags how to apply how i applied my uae visit visa tourist visa online 30 month 30 one month visa visit because currently as i'm speaking because right now is no october i'm shooting this video on october i think today is 20th uh as i'm speaking right now they abolish the 14 day visa tourist so yeah 30 days it is they only have the 48 and then i think 96 i'm gonna put uh, when i'm speaking i'm gonna put uh details information there so i'm gonna show you how i applied my visa through with the vfs online services uh yeah i did it alone i did not use an agent or a travel agent or a friend of a friend because they're gonna scam you guys anyone who thinks you're going to dubai they think you have dollars and we are saving we have been saving for this trip for quite like let me tell you i've been saving for this trip for six good years no shame in my game and finally we are going to visit dubai uae oh actually we're going to abu dhabi but we're gonna go to Dubai too. Dubai is one of our stopovers, okay? So Dubai to Abu Dhabi, uh, you can either take the metro, which is one and a half hours. I suggest you do that so that you can see, if you have time, so you can see twin one, you know? You never know. So everyone, so yeah, I wanna tell you my experience. And I only paid, like, be like me. I only paid how much? If you apply it yourself, uh i'll show you how to do that also like step by step how to do that we're gonna like i'm gonna screen record and show you how i did that and do like voiceover and just guide you on how to do it yourself of course obviously and if you want my help i feel like this video is i teach you how to do it yourself so that you save money budget travel you know by the time you watch this video guys be on the lookout for dubai abu dhabi vlogs guys because i'm gonna be vlogging every single day daily vlogs when i'm in there and i'm staying for a while i took a 30 day 30 day visa huh so that means we're gonna be doing daily vlogs my experience so habibi here we come to come to dubai habibi so habibi so dubai is one of the united uae is the most famous one and then abu dhabi is actually the capital city of uae got that so if this is your first time watching my video uh please subscribe like okay <laughs> over here so i'm gonna tell you this is only i'm gonna apply for uae east african people who have east african community 
uh, passport. So mine is from the Republic of Kenya. I am Kenyan, guys. Yeah, so watch this video till the end. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you wanna watch for from me from Dubai. I'm gonna be sharing everything, huh? And I booked this flight like earlier, like, like, like three months earlier. Like, yeah, I booked this. So anyway, you go, you book the trips maybe three months earlier or better six months earlier to get the best price not like cheap but the best price so I'm gonna tell you how I booked it so I'm gonna tell you my experience with the on booking it and how to spend I booked the 30 day visa and I only paid how much I'm gonna put the screen in details I think not more than 90 90 dollars so I'm gonna put here on the screen uh, while I talk okay and I did it alone. I did not. I just you just need a laptop. Yes, don't apply it using a mobile phone. It will lag and give you lots of problem. So just use your 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 laptop. Yes, use your laptop. If you don't have a laptop, go to the cyber and use the cyber and make sure you have the required documents, which is your passport, your booking itinerary. I feel like that's with what yeah and I was able to book through VFS services because I booked with Emirates. You are flying with Emirates. This is my second time flying with second. Wait, no. That time, yeah. This is my third time flying with Emirates. So when you book with Emirates, that's when you get like when you manage your booking, that's when you can see how to apply for a visa. And I feel this is the most easiest way you get to save money because I had like people pay twenty, and I had people pay ten, uh, twenty thousand for only four nights. So, yeah, travel hacks and tips. Subscribe for more videos like this. The first time seeing this face, my name is Kay Montel. Subscribe to be part of the K Time community. We are at forty five thousand subscribers as we are speaking. I'm hoping to reach fifty thousand subscribers. So please help me reach this goal of mine. And I'm going to tell you the Dubai visa process as a person who have the Kenyan passport. So, yeah. If you are watching this video, and please also share your Dubai experience. How did you get your visa? How much did you pay for it? Did you use a travel agency? Or did you apply it yourself online? And which country, which, which, like, which passport do you, do you apply with? Like, which nationality did you apply with okay every links uh like maybe direct link on how to apply uh below yeah i know if you are looking for uh, how to apply like what documentations are needed to apply for a visit visa um yeah i'll share below and always look on the description down below i'll make sure everything i'm talking right here is also available in the description link down below please leave it this video a thumbs up because this way it will help so many people who want this information because many people do not tell you this information now because they want you to pay them how long does it take mine uh, how long does it take the process of it mine took like i applied no joking like i applied like at night like around eight and the next day morning i got like immediate so immediate visa like visa accepted like it was breezy answering those questions and if you have any more other questions just don't feel free to ask me and follow up on my vlogs because this is the first dubai vlog yeah i've been dreaming to go to dubai okay i'm going to Dhabi, but it's it's the same thing because it's the same like the same uae so yeah so i'm so excited and uh yeah i can like i will put up dubai playlist click here if you want to see the daily vlogs click here we are starting strong if you require to a tourist visa uh the, you can go to this like online like tourism visa through approved airlines I applied through Emirates and I can talk about Emirates because that's my experience. I do not know about other airlines. This video is not sponsored 
okay i'm just sharing with uk types if you want to apply through emirates or any other airlines one of the condition is to is flying with them said airlines so if you want if you want to follow this direction you have to book with emirates and trust me and believe me all i looked at have been like using skyscanner expedia to check the flight prices and trust and believe they're almost all the same prices if you look, like check three months earlier before you book they're almost the same so i suggest you use emirates because that's my you're watching this video and i'm recommending emirates and uh, for more updated information you can always check the following uae based airlines for visa emirates airline you can also check like it had airways fly dubai but i'm sharing my experience through emirates so i will i recommend emirates because i don't know the experience through the other airlines i've mentioned and if your money is not an issue for you uh you can check tourist visas through travel agency of course you're gonna pay more because you're using their services uh hotels and tour operators i've had like people paying over twenty thousand Kenya shillings for four day for four no two yeah yeah so license travel agency just be careful to use license travel agents and hotels in the uae can arrange a tourist visa for you provided you purchase the ticket through them and maintain hotel reservation with a specific hotel for me i feel like you should just use emirates you know because it's cheaper they only charge you the the service fee they charge you is like 20 dollars which is like in total it becomes 90 dollars so it's inclusive on the 90 dollars the service fee vfs charge you again if money is no problem to you you can always contact travel agencies in your country that is like kenya uh for any tourist packages so be sure they're gonna uh charge commission and service charge so this video is uh, is for travel tips travel on a budget save money enjoy the experiences where you can i will definitely uh emphasize Please check the authenticity of travel agents you are dealing with because there are many people here have been scammed. Please don't be one of them. I do not want any of you guys to be scammed and con and then it destroys your whole experience of experiencing Dubai. Okay? Yeah. So how much will it cost you for the 30 days single entry? Because that's what I want to talk more and the emphasis of the more of the visa I took visit visa so I took the 30 days single entry and in total inclusive of the service charge of VFS because Emirates used the services of VFS and I paid in total I think $90 in USD I'm gonna write here also like uh, equivalent it to Kenyan shilling so please note that the visa cost depends on country of origin and also the airline or travel agency i'm gonna explain again uh i did apply it on my own and i booked like airline i'm using to fly to dubai is emirates so what documents are needed for your dubai tourist visa okay these are the documents that are needed for your dubai visa travel please check that your passport is valid for at least six months at the time of entry what is the validity period of my visa so all visas are valid for 60 days from the date of issue until until entry to the uae please note date of issue and entry point to the uae so expect the 48 hour and 96 hour visa transit valid for 30 days so how long can i stay in the uae so your length of stay depends on your visa type starting from 14 and 14 from 14 and up to 180 days so i'm gonna show you a screen crawl 
and take you step by step how I applied and uh, immediately like I will highly recommend like booking with Emirates and then on the booking on Emirates you can go to uh, manage your booking and then when you go to manage your booking uh, that way you can yeah. apply for a visa and it's so easy and direct just make sure you have a scanned copy I'm gonna talk about all of them in details as um, screen recording so that you guys can get it and I hope you like this video because I like sharing this kind of information and the more people view share it with a friend and uh, yeah of course uh, I'm still in Nairobi Kenya my flight by the time you're watching this video I'll be already like um, on the immigration to migration so stay tuned uh, watch my vlogs Stay up to date with me and you can do that by subscribing there's a bell there and then turn the bell notification on so i'll be notified i'll tell you my immigration experience to dubai as a kenya or a visit 30 day visit visa yep this was up please guys i do not the reason why this i do not do this kind of videos but i do not you i do not want you guys to get scammed because there are so many scamming people out there and then you feel it makes you feel so low so use the only site i will highly recommend it emirates emirates.com and then just follow this video guys it's ours all the information I subscribe i do daily vlogs there yeah. i've gone to india i've gone to tanzania and i've gone to uganda so you may want to check also that videos that will pop up at the end of this video or on an iCard above. I think it's here, on an iCard here or on here, they will pop up.